Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Animwatch and we are back with another initial review of a brand new watch. Right this time around it is from a brand that I have never reviewed before. This watch came from militadowatch.com. So basically they have their own website to sell watches with uh, from the brand Militado and I think they do also this Militado watch are also being sold on AliExpress. I'm just not sure whether these are the same guys on the AliExpress store or not but yeah still I'm going to be giving the link to their particular the website that they've sent me right so which model did I get let's just take a look drum roll please all right let's boom so see this one is the ML05 Militado 38mm Sapphire Crystal Field Military Watch <laughs> that's the full name um nothing really inside here just this uh, packaging and an unsigned international guarantee card which we may which say that this watch is um, guaranteed for two years so it, it's it's not signed so i'm not really sure even if, if there's anything um happen in the future will they you know will they will they honor the warranty or not but yeah still i can you know i can go direct to them and say hey man you're yeah, what is watch is broken or something like that but yeah still i don't think this will uh, broke it will <laughs> be broken anytime soon because this one is using the seiko vh31 so when was the last time that we ever heard of a you know a seiko vh31 broke after just like what one or two weeks nah i don't think so all right so ml05 so one look at it you guys will know that this is an homage of a certain um hamilton khaki feel no khaki feel mechanical watch so i've had that particular watch a few i think a year back so i've sold it i think i've had uh, two hamilton watch at one point and i think um that one has to go because yeah i don't really use it that much compared to the one that i am using right now which is the hamilton khaki feel automatic watch so an awesome uh, product <laughs> it's awesome entry level swiss made watch this one has been given to me by my lovely wife so i'm not going to be selling it <laughs> but yeah still you can see the um, the resemblance right so the uh, the the hour markers so all this you know the type fonts and everything so yeah there is a similarity but uh, i will we will talk about the this particular watch similarity to the khaki field mechanical so let's just talk dimensions so they mentioned that this is a 38 mil in diameter let's see if my caliper decides to work with me or not today i haven't get myself a new caliper just yet sorry about that 38 mil that's nice a thickness of about i hope this is i think this is about 10 i think um yep 10.5 mil in thickness because it is using that vh31 movement so luck to luck is quite long at about 47.5 and luck with of hopefully yep 20 mil so that's good so basically it retains all the you know the the uh, the dimension set dimension of the khaki field mechanical that one also has quite a long luck to luck a bit too long in my opinion so yeah let's just um, quickly fire up the scale here uh weighing just about 58 grams so easy to wear the in and the out and they also mentioned that this one is using sapphire crystal so that's just you know it's just just let's just test that out sapphire crystal yeah that's good enough and i'm just not sure if they have any anti-reflective coating on this one nope no nothing mentioned here not really sure if it has any let's just see if you have any blue hue here i don't think so but based on what i see i think they may might have gone for a clear ar coating so no need to have a blue hue blue blue and reflective reflective coating for this particular piece right um since i don't have the khaki mechanical right now so i'm just going to put some picture over here just for your reference right so in my memory if my memory serves me right <laughs> The dial, right? The type, the the this this um, hour markers and all these um, minute, uh, not minute markers. No, sorry. The hour markers looks a bit more, a bit touch, a touch bigger compared to the original one. And the I think this triangle on each hour markers is the same. Um, the khaki field mechan mechanical doesn't have this arrow mark here under the twelve o'clock. So yeah, that one obviously has has khaki written it written on it and i think the handsets are similar 
I might be wrong, but yeah, still, I, I think it, it is similar. But of course, I will pop up some pictures around somewhere around here. And the case finishing, they mentioned that this is a bit blasted case finish. Um, yes, there is a bit blasting uh, on the case. And I think the bit blasting on, bit, bit blasted finish on the Kaki Film Mechanical is a bit more rough. So this one much, much more fine. Uh, bits used here so you can see those it's not as rough as the OG and the OG or the Kaki Film Mechanical also have have this um, relax right so so yeah which is you know easy to uh, use uh, or easy to swap out straps or or, or leather strap the only difference is that the GP sorry the Kaki Film Mechanical the distance between lux right so this this gap between the spring bar and the case is a bit too big that's similar that is the same case um, yeah if you are to use this on, on let's say a, a leather strap you will see that there's a quite a huge gap on on this particular this supplied um, NATO strap it doesn't really look that bad but if you know what let's just give it a go <laughs> let's just give it a go uh, since we already have some uh, some strap over here right so let's just take the strap off this uh, khaki fill automatic and let's just put it put it on this particular military and see if the gap is overwhelming or not right um, let's just put it like so okay and put it on the other end like so okay right so if my memory serves me correctly this is the gap here is a wee bit uh, smaller compared to the uh, to the khaki field mechanical, mechanical i might be wrong here right i just can't remember i just can't remember if i took a picture of my previous khaki field mechanical on a leather strap before i just can't remember but i do think that this gap is uh, a bit bigger right so that's just <laughs> just for your reference here all right so it, look, it looks cool no yeah all right um the crown nothing to write home about here just your simple um no sign crown which is good i'm okay with that and the back we have this militado um militado's h class sorry case back I, this is a screw down screw down uh, case back they didn't mention any water resistance rating here uh, oh 100 meters of water resistance 216 L stainless steel so that's good and the um, um, VH31 I think uh, would the battery inside a VH31 is you know should be good for about two years I think and yeah it's it's okay so the crystal however is a dome sapphire crystal I think that is similar to the khaki field mechanical and yeah for this you know still style of watch um, dome sapphire crystal is good enough and it doesn't really give that you know looks like a double dome i don't know it looks like it has dome but it doesn't really give that you know that much of a distortion maybe a single dome yeah maybe it is that's it's the case it, it, there's not nothing nothing in the website saying that it is using a double dome i so i think this is a a um, single dome sapphire crystal so because of the price right if you are to go for a double dome sapphire crystal definitely you cannot you could not sell this thing for 45 bucks right so yeah i so maybe this is just a sim a single dome sapphire crystal you know what let's just put it on the wrist and see how it looks like if i before we check the loom all right so that is how it looks like on my skinny 6.75 inch wrist so that looks good in my opinion what do you think about that so yep very, very light, lightweight easy to use day in day out so and the loom right let's just check the loom okay so nothing wrong with this supplied uh, strap though i think it is okay i need mean, it's not the you know, the softest in the business but still okay to use if you guys like this style but you know feel watch nasal strap leather strap yeah you can go either way right let's just uh, briefly charge the watches these two the original hamilton khaki field automatic versus the the homage of the uh, khaki field uh, mechanical let's just see if it's you know it if it could stay all night long so i'm not going to be testing that during uh, tonight right so you guys ready three two one boom you can see oops a bit of light here the loom on the khaki field automatic is in um, bgw9 superluminova oh, i don't think so sorry c1 superluminova so it is 
glowing green but not that bright but on the Militado it is using a combination of um, I don't think it's a combination this is a vintage C3 Super Luminova so yeah it's interesting to see if this <laughs> the loom on the Militado brights shines brighter than the Hamilton let's see let's just do some comparison later on <laughs> all right so if you guys have any questions whatsoever regarding this particular watch please do let me know in the comment section below and yeah i will put some links to the uh, militado watch uh, com and also a link to the aliexpress uh, store which i think you could definitely get this ml05 watch for much cheaper than the 45 few bucks are listed on the website i just can't remember how much it is it is but still a definitely a bargain in my opinion if you like this style of you know field wash all right also if there's there's you guys say hope you like these videos please give me a big thumbs up if you do and if you want to see if, if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one please go ahead and subscribe to my channel until next time i'll see you soon stay safe and bye bye